Hi, I'm Janine Jarman, owner of Heroin Salon and Curl Cult here in Hollywood. Today, I've been asked by Jatai to do a haircut using their famous feather razor in celebration of 30 years. Okay, so it's a pretty straightforward cut. Her hair's already around the shape of it. Um, interestingly enough, to support this look, like the cool part about this like 90s kind of grungy bob, if you will, um, was the texture in it. Uh, my, my client Amy, though, has stick straight hair normally. So I pre-permed her so that we can get that more effortless, you know, cute kind of kicks and bits in there. So that's, that's a good option so that you can have that air dried effortless bob like they did in the 90s. All right, so I'm gonna just part her ear to ear to start and then we're gonna start in the back. All right, so one of my favorite things about the feather styling razor is how easy the blades are to change. And if you've ever used <laughs> any other razor, you'll know that it's normally not that easy. This great cartridge keeps it safe, keeps it handy, keeps it really clean. So you just slide it right in and voila. I also love that there's a, a tang. That's what I call it. I hope that's what it's actually called. Um, that helps me really keep it nice and balanced depending on how I'm using it. So it's really nice. It's easy. It makes it really easy to keep it straight, to turn it, to utilize all the angles and all the divots for my fingers and however I need to. All right. So starting at the nape, I'm gonna really, we're gonna, not gonna take a ton of length off of her, but I'm definitely gonna release the weight. All right. I'm going in here, release, looking to really just release weight in this nape so that this can stack up really nicely. Using my previous section as a guide. Using less pressure as I go to the more sparse sections. So that's also something that's really nice is that you can easily manipulate the amount of hair you're removing just with the pr amount of pressure that you use. I'm gonna just chew off just a little bit of length here. And so that this doesn't pop those edges out, we're gonna go in here and just get that off. So it doesn't mess with her and it's a little bit less on her other side but same thing don't be afraid to get in there and create the shape that's going to best support the style because if we didn't do that this would be kicking out the other side and the second it starts to grow and it's really gonna affect the look so this by being able to get in there and like take any of those unnecessary bits that are pushing hair out of the way you can squeak a couple weeks out of this cut longer than you would have otherwise. All right. Same thing. I'm using the toe. to just carve those layers in. Bringing this longest, this longest bit, I'm 
over directing it back so that we make sure we don't create a hole. And you can start to see it stack up and create that really nice texture. So now that I'm going up above the nape, like now hitting the round, I don't want as much um, stacking action. So I'm gonna kind of pull this down and just take off that length. She has fine textured hair, so I do not need to beat up her hair taking up a ton of, you know, taking out a ton of weight here. So this, I just really want those ends to have the weight removed. I actually like the bulk in the interior, so I'm not gonna use, like, get in there. Now, if she had, like, much denser hair, I would probably continue this even further up, and then I would go in and remove more weight like this in a, like, penciling motion. But for her, I like, I wanna just kinda work with the natural density she has and just make those ends a little more weightless. But it's so nice, like, oh, trying to do this cut with a pair of shears, I would end up cutting it multiple times because I'd have to get the shape and then I'd have to remove the weight. So this is such a great way to just get it all done at once. And you guys, if you're not already subscribed, do it. Now is your time. This is the, the sign you need to subscribe. Uh, and if you click the notification bell, it'll let you know when we release new education. And how great is that? Just free education coming straight to you. So now, I like where this is going. I'm gonna drop her whole back over because I can still see my guideline through here and I'm gonna take little bits and just bring it in here and razor that down making sure it like hangs over just a tiny bit giving it a quick twist before I do this and what this does it really breaks up the texture inside there. So it's not just this like smooth release of texture, but breaks it up. So it's like internal, micro internal layering, if you will. And this helps again, like our goal with that 90s is getting these like imperfect kicks and pulls. So incorporating a technique that will support that helps make sure that happens without taking too much weight.
again, pulling these last corners back more than you would with the rest of it so that we do not have a hole over the ear because you can always go back in here like I'm going to do right now and just check. Is there anything hanging out? Got a little bit here. And again, because it's a texture cut, I like to continue to scrunch it up as I go to make sure we're really activating that texture. All right, now dropping down her left side. And bringing it back so I don't lose too, too much length. And you can see how much it just like gets it to jump up and behave itself. Which, oh my gosh, she, poor thing has been tortured this whole weekend after her perm. I wouldn't give her a haircut till today. So I was like, oh, and it is like, man, like textured hair really comes to life with the right haircut. So I'm so excited to like love her perm and her new style even more with the right haircut. Thank you for being patient. That was torturous. And you can see I'm just cross-checking it. You can see right here, like a little bit heavy for me. So I'll go in there, just remove some weight. Again, I'm not looking to move a ton of length because how I'm gonna style it's gonna really bounce it up. So if you're supporting something with texture, you want to constantly be scrunching it and seeing like, okay, where's this going to land? Now, it's important to do, you know, her freshly permed hair. She has finer textured hair, but she has a grip of it. So we leave it really, really nice and damp, slather it with leave-in conditioner so that this blade can glide through really nice. But all the while, we're scrunching it up so that we're cognizant of like how much it's going to, of the shrinkage that's going to happen. That tends to be something you don't really have to worry about when it's super straight air. Okay. All right. Moving on to our other side. And for these, I love standing in the back to cut and establish the length. It's the same thing. I'm going to give it a quick twist, pull it back, using my back as the guide. All right, and then now we will detail her front. So she is growing out bangs or fringe, if you will. And the, you know, the 90s, it's tricky. Hair accessories were all the rage in the 90s. So it's, it's fitting because I feel like you, you know, big, choppy, like really strict bangs are also really big, but then the accessories became popular maybe because we were growing those bangs out. Kind of makes sense. It was this kind of give and take. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to give a little bit more um, depth to your bangs, so I'll cut a little bit more in there, but I'm going to lighten them up. And the idea is that we're going to be able to push them away and that she can really wear like cute accessories that clip them up like so.
And what this is doing, I'm just adding some more length in there to help like basically create a brace to hold those bangs as she's growing them out. So you can see already, it already like kind of picks them up and scoops them out of the way for her. This is a really great way when someone is trying to grow their bangs out, rather than just cold turkey, like, all right, grow them out. You can do this little kind of invisible layer over top. Also, just lightening the ends of them. I'm not taking any length off, but I'm lightening those ends so that they push over a lot easier. When something has texture on the ends, it creates movement. So that's gonna help not fight that pushover as much as if they were just stick straight. I'm working my way back, moving my hands as I do it, and just let that hair drop out if it doesn't need to be cut. You can see we're, we're gonna fake it till we make it, grow those bangs <laughs> out. All right, now let's bring that front forward and see how it ties into everything else. All right, I'm gonna just do the top of her head, create some like ghost layers in there so that it helps again kind of drag the illusion of it back. So just ever so gently working it back. Right. Now going to the other side, we can see like that needs to kind of get them to hang out a little bit more. So we'll give it a twist up. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be this like tons and tons of hair I'm using ever, ever so slight pressure. And I, I want to encourage you that, you know, I know a lot of people are probably scared to cut on finer textured hair with the razor. It, it's all in how much pressure you use. You sometimes I honestly will reach for my feather razor when I don't want to take too much because I know I can, re it's a single blade, I'm not worrying about moving two blades back and forth. I can really just delicately get in there and do some awesome detailing. And give right in here, I'm gonna give it just a little curvature like so. Just softens it. This is a great haircut too if people are growing out their layers. Um, growing out a pixie, you can grow it out into this. Pretty nice because it still it works too. If somebody had like stronger layers in the front, you can make this haircut work for that too. You guys see where it kind of jumps up and down a bit? That was from the twisting action. I want that so it breaks it up so it's not this really hard line. You know, we, we know how to do straight line bobs. Those are their own thing. That's not what we're going for with this one. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna do just gently carve out that front. I mean that like handful of hairs and it makes all the difference. It's gonna be so cute, the clip, all the things. Mm -hmm. After I put product in, I go in and then I scrunch to start really encouraging that curl pattern. It's important too that you educate, although this seems simple enough, you have to teach your client to do this. This is how curly hair w wants to live. I'm using a disposable towel. I love um, how these don't really ruffle up the cuticle. Microfiber ta towel, cotton towel. Um, just not the normal like water wicking towels we use in the salon. Uh, and same for your client, make sure they have the right tools to get, to get the effortless look. And don't forget to follow us at Chatai Feather on Instagram. And you can follow me at Janine Jarman and at Curl Cult. Now we're gonna diffuse. And I really like the like texture that we have in here, so I want it to be like this. Ideally, you'd have your client just air dry, but we need to see what it looks like, so we're gonna diffuse dry. Um, I got a universal bucket diffuser. I'm gonna just turn it on. Medium heat, medium speed. Curls hate to have excessive touching, okay? They are, they, they are temperamental gals, so just leave it alone. You're gonna use your hand as a claw, Dump it in the bucket and leave it. Cute. 
you. And like that, a great, easy textured bob. I really hope this inspires you to like reinvent some of the haircuts, help your clients grow out some others. Um, it's a good, easy way to utilize the feather razor. And then because, you know, in, in lieu of the 90s, which I love that that's the one I got because it's like actually back. Um, and it was, you know, my era as well. We're going to do, you know, the ever popular like Claire Danes, who else? Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. A couple stacked bobby pins on top. Really like make this all the way 90s. Thanks for watching. I'm Janine Jarman. Check out Jatai Academy for even more educational videos. See you next time.